welcome to this celebration of the fifth Sunday in Ordinary Time. I'm Father Zachary Miller from Christ the King Parish in Liverpool, New York, and we're joined with the people of Christ the King today. As we start everything of our faith, we start in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we are called to discipleship, to follow in the footsteps of Christ. Let us pray for our renewed hope and a stronger faith in Jesus. Lord Jesus, you call us all to holiness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, you bound, your bounty overwhelms us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you challenge us to follow you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. We give glory to God by saying, Glory to God, God in the God. highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. We alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, we may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. In the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord seated on a high and lofty throne with the train of his garment filling the temple. Seraphim were stationed above. They cried one to the other, holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. All the earth is filled with his glory. At the sound of that cry, the frame of the door shook and the house was filled with smoke. Then I said, woe is me, I am doomed, for I am a man of unclean lips, living among people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, holding an amber that he had taken with tongs from the altar. He touched my mouth with it and said, see, now that this has touched your lips, your wickedness is removed, your sin purged. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send? Who will go for us? Here I am, I said, send me. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. In the sight of the 
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I handed unto you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. After that, he appeared to more than 500 brothers at once, most of whom are still living, though some have fallen asleep. After that, he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one abnormally born, he appeared to me. Therefore, whether it be I or they, so we preach, and so you believed. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Genezet. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into the deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing, but at your command, I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. They came and filled both boats, so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at, his knee, at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For the astonishment at the catch of the fish that made him seize him and all those with him, and likewise James and John and the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord. you, Lord Jesus Christ. Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing, but at your command, I will lower the nets. Into the deep, the Lord is calling us today. Into the depths of our hearts, of our lives, and of our souls. What does this mean? Lord, what do you want from me? If we truly look into this gospel today from Luke, we have to look into our lives, into the deep. At times when we look into the depths of our own hearts, it can be scary, it can be unknown, it can be frightening. But when we trust the Lord, that's the key out of today's gospel, trusting the Lord at all times in our lives, seeking him no matter the cost, no matter the deep difficulty. But what is it about going into the deep that makes us uneasy? Is it just the truth about our lives? Is it the truth of how God is a part of our lives? Or is it the honesty that we have to be to our own selves. The honesty that we have to look into the lives and the depths of our hearts and to say, I'm not perfect. I'm broken. 
Or is it the honesty to say that what are we fulfilling? What are we saying and doing? Jesus said then to Simon, do not be afraid. Lord, look at what is happening. I opened up my heart to you, and look at what you allowed me to catch. The nets, as they pulled them ashore, were almost overflowing, were so full that the boats were in danger of sinking. See, this is the key of the gospel today, that when we allow the Lord into our lives, yes, at times it may be scary, it may be difficult, but there's great rewards that can happen. There's great joys that we can find in our lives. We can be just like Paul and the apostles and all the disciples and find that true happiness of Jesus living in and through our lives. So my challenge for all of you today, for ourselves, put into the deep. Open your hearts. Open your minds. Open your souls. Because when we put into the depths of our own lives, there's great joy that can be found. So trusting in God that we're praying for and with each other today, may we be a people of faith and to trust the Lord. Trust the Lord each and every day. We now together profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. And he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He'll come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Our Savior says, come, follow me, calling us to follow his example, to throw a wide net of prayer for others. Let us pray in generosity of spirit. That in our worship and ministries, we may proclaim the gospel of the risen Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who serve the church as pastors ministers, and teachers may faithfully carry on the apostles' work of building up the body of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all churches and faith communities may be partners in catching souls in the net of God's love and forgiveness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the nations and people of the world may sing together a song of peace and thanksgiving to the creator of all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are homebound by illness or old age may receive the comfort of the Holy Spirit. 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who have died in the peace of Christ may sing the praises of the Lord in the presence of the angels forever. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord of all peoples, through these prayers, guide the lives of those seeking to follow your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Pray, my brothers and my sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and all his holy church. Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our fertility, grant, we pray, that we may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent us as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, as so to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fonts of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirits upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, 
For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress to wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world, through Christ our Lord. Amen. I want to thank you for watching us today on this televised Mass. As we, as the community of Christ the King, pray for you, I ask for your prayers for our community. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God.